So I've wetted the top part and got a sort of watercolour impression going with permanent rose, ultramarine and yellows to make a vague impression of the colours around the bridge. And the lower part of the picture is still wet, this part of the stream. And I'm just going to re-wet it and try and flood in this sort of soft impression in watercolour um, with uh, yellows and gr greens again from the left. So in here for example there's a vibrant green that is um, cerulean blue and cadmium yellow. I just want to wet that a bit more so it diffuses. So the idea of all these preliminary layers, like a blush of colour, is to, for them to disperse and create soft impressions or edges in watercolour. So the colours in here, the greens, yellow greens, cadmium yellow for example. Little splashes of cadmium yellow and then splashes of green. So that bush will be red and there'll be green for the bridge to go in later. I'm just coming down to the water's edge there. I'll leave a gap. A little bit of yellow behind the red. A little bit of yellow ochre. Just sort of behind the red in the, in the branches. A little trace of yellow oak on this bamboo on the left. Along so bamboo. Just sort of leaving this loose. That's with the brush held upright. So it's still damp on the paper. A bit of bit of some drawing in there to follow. Um, colour on the left with blue violet flowers. And different kinds of mark making with the brush. So this is kind of a swirly mark. Violet and quite a few white bits is there as well. So little touches of green in there. This is all trying to limit the amount of water on the brush that the colour spreads in a controlled way. So this is the reflection, the area of reflection. And um, it's going to have glazes on it eventually. This is quite a complicated area to paint. Everything that's reflected is a bit duller than the thing that's being reflected. There is a sort of violety blue haze in here. So I'll put this um, slightly blue 
this is pure ultramarine, diluted ultramarine on here. The theory being in watercolour that you work from light to dark and so I'm starting with the lightest values. So that's that's um, just given that separateness in the water. So the, any gaps that appear or are created will be duller or have blue behind them. Uh, the red bush on the left of the bridge should be crimson and yellow ochre, I think, to make it sort of nice rusty red. makes a colour like that, which I want to just drop in there and let it spread. So it's just just enough colour to, uh, with some water, but enough to stop the colour hopefully going all over the place. A little bit drier there. So it will be possible, I think, to come back to this and bring the bridge out of that, bring the bridge out in terms of detail and stop the, um, or sorry, create harder edges. There's another um, red bush on the right of the bridge in shadow, so it's much darker, and that's, I'm going to make that. Um, Crimson and ochre and ultramarine, and see if I can paint into the. It's all about the edge quality with this, so I get the edge the edge quality a little bit broken looking. I'm tempted to bring that down, but I've got the water coming behind that, so can't do that. It's um. Try and put this. I want to restore that edge at some point. Restore this area. It's getting too many backgrounds happening there. So generally, what happens with reflections is they go straight down. So whatever is above will be reflected below. So all of this lot, the marks go down. Just ignore the bridge for the moment. Take the mark straight down. So just here is a little bit more yellow. And also a reflection of pink, which turns out to be slightly mauvish. So reflections going downwards. Ignore the bridge for the moment. I'm trying to leave out these pockets of reflected wisteria.
So that's an area of reflected sky. So I'm looking beyond the reflection of the bridge to the reflection of the trees um, above, above the bridge. So I'm having to get let go of an awful lot of detail to do this and not really be too bothered about it. Um, so I'm confident I can come back to this when it's dried and bring out, pull out the bridge from this. So I painted the top part first, it's now drying off. The lower part is still damp and I'm looking at this area of reflected uh, bamboo on the left which is all more or less in shadow or darker greens little patches of shadow in green Dark edge along there. And then the reflection of the of this tree. Slightly darker red. So the red here is brighter and that red reflection is a bit quieter. Over on the right there is a reflection of lilac. Wisteria. A bit of lifting out. So that would be a mixture of permanent rose and ultramarine. Difficult to keep the ultramarine clean, that's important. That makes a better violety colour. So all that area of reflection um, is uh, quite blurred but still gives it some definition of colour and I can still see the drawing of the bridge underneath all this. I have to let some things happen 
um, just let it happen with the watercolour, like the way this has um, dispersed, the colour has dispersed, for example, around this bush and bled. I just have to let that happen and not work on it, I think. Leave it alone. I come back to this sort of stage and have a look at this, have a look at the area on the right which is in shadow a bit more where this dark bush is. Most of that really should be left to later on. Uh, there is this, while it's damp we get this sort of partial lifting, uh, blurring effect which is useful. And being just a foliage there, is ga there are gaps so there should be colour in the gaps. So I'm hoping the reflections end up being a bit darker and more blurred. There are branches coming across there. But most of this no, it has got some sort of um, description on it. I'm going to just let this dry off a bit. Bits of blue in there. So the whole page is wet and it's partly wet. Wet in some places, not wet in others. And I would like to get an opportunity to re-soak this in some areas locally. The best thing at the moment would be for this to dry uh, gradually and then um, work on it in more local areas, just bringing out some. So I'll put a little bit of focus here and some on the bridge. Some on the bridge supports. Um, a lot of it, um, leave it as a, a soft effect. 